Now, let's look at some worded problems. Because sometimes simultaneous equation can come in the form of worded problems. So let's go ahead and read this question. It says two numbers have a sum of 15 and a difference of 4. What are the two numbers? Pause the video and attempt. Now, in attempting, please do not... Think about the two numbers and say, okay, which two number I can add and get that and then the difference is four. Don't think about it, please. Just work it out using simultaneous equation. So go ahead, pause and attempt. Okay, so let's call the two numbers A and B. So they told us that the sum of the, the two numbers is 15. So they're telling us that A plus B adds up to 15 and they tell us that the difference of the two numbers is 4 so they're saying a minus b is equal to 4 now in worded problems of course you can do any method you want to solve this question so we're going to do it both ways so you can feel appreciative of both methods so let's do elimination on one side so here we're going to do elimination. So using elimination, so this now we're using elimination. Using elimination method, we can of course add both equation to get rid of the B. So A plus A would be 2A. B plus minus B, that gone. And 15 plus 4, that's 19. So 2A is 19. So we divide both sides by 2. So we're saying then A equal to 19 over 2. Or some might say A equal 9.5. In that case, now we can go ahead and find B from any one of the equations. Let's use the first equation. So using the first equation, let's do it in this box to finish it. Using the first equation, we're saying that 9.5 plus B would be equal to 15. Yeah, and we know that 5.5 plus 9.5 is 15. So therefore, B would have to be 5.5. Nice. So our answer is A is equal to 9.5 and B is equal to 5.5. That's using the elimination method. Nice. Let's go ahead now and use the substitution method. Now, using the substitution method, right, let's just write over back the two equation. Remember, we had A plus B equal 15 and A minus B equal 4. You'd have to choose a variable that you want to make the subject. So, I am going to choose from equation 1, I'm going to make A the subject. I like to make A the subject because we like to get A's. So, let's make A the subject. So we bring over the B to the other side to get A is 15 minus B. Once you have this equation, you're going to substitute it into the second equation. So what we're then saying then is that 15 minus B, because we're replacing 15 minus B into equation 2 for A, minus B is equal to 4. In that case, we expand Expanding now, minus b minus b is minus 2b. So continuing, we get 15 minus 2b is equal to 4. Then we can bring the 2b to this side and bring the 4 to the other side. So bringing the 4 to this side, it would be 15 minus 4 equal. Bring negative 2b to the other side, it becomes positive. 15 minus 4 is 11. And so 11 is 2B. We then divide both sides by 2. And that will give us that B equal 11 over 2. Or some might say 5.5. Nice. Once you get B equal 5.5, 
You can then substitute it into any one of the equation you want to make A the subject. I'm going to use equation 2 since I haven't really done anything much with equation 2 as yet. So we're saying A minus 5.5 equals 4. Now which number minus 5.5 would be 4? A would have to be 9.5. Because 9.5 minus 4, that gives us 5.5. So our answer works out to be A equal 9.5 and B equal to 5.5. Notice when you add those two numbers, you get the 15. And when you take their difference, you get the 4. Really, really nice. All right? So you realize you can use either the elimination method or you can use the substitution method. It's really up to you to determine which equation you want to use. Which method you want to use, it's all up to you. All right, what about this question now, exam style? So pause the video and attempt this question. It says twice, one number added to three times another gives 21, and find the numbers if the difference between them is three. Go ahead, pause and attempt. All right, so to do this number, it says twice one number added to three times another gives 21. So twice a number, you're going to have to call the first number a letter. So let the two numbers be, so let the numbers be x and y. So in this case, twice one number so twice of the first number x plus three times the other, let's say it gives 21. Gives me equal to 21. That's our first equation. And it says find the numbers if the difference between them is 3. So we're then saying that x minus y is equal to 3. Or it could be y minus x is 3. Does, it doesn't matter. In this case now, these are our two equations. So now, we're just going to do one method to do this question. Let's use elimination method. We're going to use elimination method, yes. So let's decide on a variable we want to eliminate. I want to eliminate x. I want to eliminate x. So if I want to eliminate x, I need to get the same number of x's in both equations. So from equation 1, 2x plus 3y equal 21. For equation 2, I'd have to multiply it by 2. If I multiply it by 2, I get 2x minus 2y equal to 6. I can then do what? Subtract the two equations. Now, if I subtract the two equations, 2x minus x will cancel. And then 3y minus minus 2y, that will become 5y. Yes, remember 3 minus minus 2 becomes positive. And then 21 minus 6, that is of course 15. Now since 5y is equal to 15, we're then saying that y has to be equal to 3. Once we get y equal to 3, we substitute y equal to 3 in any one of the equation. Let's put it in the second equation since it's really simple. The second equation was x minus y equal to 3. So if y is 3, we're getting x minus 3 is equal to 3. And so what we're getting then is x has to be equal to 6. So our final answer is x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 3. Those are the two numbers. Next. Nice. Now you can always check your answer to see if twice of one number added to 3 times the other gives 21, and then that the difference between them is 3. So look at it, twice of one number, so twice of 6, plus 3 times the other of 3, that gives 21, and the difference between them is still 3. Correct. Really, really nice. And it doesn't even matter the order, look. Twice of 3, and then 6 times, so 2 times 3 and then plus 3 times 6 still would give you 21. So we see that the check works out fine. So indeed our answers are x equals 6. One number is 6 and the other is 3. That's our answer.
really nice. All right. One last question to close out the day. So we got a full lesson on simultaneous equation. So go ahead, pause this video and attempt the question, please. It says rectangle A is three times longer than rectangle B and twice as wide. If the perimeters of the two are 50 centimeters and 20 centimeters respectively, find the dimensions of the larger rectangle. Pause the video and attempt the question. Okay, nice. So as you're doing this question, it's always good to get a pictorial representation of what's happening. So they tell us we have two rectangles. We have rectangle A and we have rectangle B. Now what they told us about rectangle A is that rectangle A is three times longer than rectangle B. So if rectangle B have a length of Let's say rectangle B have a length of L. I'll use L to represent length. Then we're saying rectangle A have a length of 3L. So we're saying that the length is L for rectangle B. And so the length of rectangle A is 3L because it's three times longer than rectangle B's length. Then they say that rectangle A, the width of it is twice as wide. Twice as wide mean if rectangle B have a width of W, then rectangle A have a width of 2W. Ah, nice. In that case now, we're able now to get our two simultaneous equations. How? It tells us if the perimeters of 2 are 50 and 20 respectively, find the dimensions of the larger rectangle. So they told us that the perimeter of rectangle A is 50 centimeters. Now perimeter is total distance around. And we know a rectangle have two pair of equal sides. So in that case, we're then saying that the perimeter would be 3L plus 3L plus 2W plus 2W. And that's equal to 50. So this would simplify to be 6L plus 4W equals 50. Nice. That's our first equation. Look how this worded problem working out to be a nice little simultaneous equation. Now, secondly, from rectangle B, they told us that the perimeter of rectangle B is 20 centimeters. So we're seeing that L plus L plus W plus W equals 20. So we're saying that 2L plus 2W is equal to 20. So this is our equation 2. So now we can go ahead and solve these pair simultaneously. So of course we have 6L plus 4W. That's equal to 50. And we have 2L plus 2W. That's equal to 20. The last time we use elimination method. So in this question, let's use substitution. So from equation two, let's label them equation two and equation one. So from equation two, we're going to make L the subject just to do it differently. So in that case, we'd say two L would be equal to 20 minus two W. And so what we're then saying is if we divide both sides by two, L would be equal to, now you have to divide both terms by 2. So 20 divided by 2 is 10. And 2W divided by 2 is just W. So L is 10 minus W. Now we're going to sub this L into equation 1. So in that case, what we're getting now is 6L and L is 10 minus W plus 4W equal 50. So we're saying then that 6 times 10 is 60, 6 times W, so that's minus 6W, plus 4W, that's equal to 50. Okay, now minus 6W plus 4W is minus 2W, so we're getting 60 minus 2W is equal to 50. Now 60 minus which number gives us 50? 10. 
So we're saying that the two W part have to be equal to 10. Think about it. 60 minus 10 give you 50. So we're saying two W part have to be 10 since 60 minus 10 would give us 50. In that case, we can divide both sides by two. And so we end up get W is equal to five. So that's the width of the small rectangle. Once we get W equal five, we can find L by substituting W into any one of the equations. Now in this case, since we have L is 10 minus W, why not use this to find L? L will be 10 minus five, which is five. Now you're gonna say, oh oh. You're saying, oh oh, because how can the width be five and the length be five and it's a rectangle? Yes, even though the width and the length are the same, it would be considered what we call a square. But a square is a rectangle. A square is a rectangle, but a rectangle is not a square. Okay? So remember that a square is a rectangle. So in this case, we get L is 5 and W is 5. But the question said find the dimensions of the larger rectangle. So we don't finish it. The dimensions of the larger rectangle was 3L and 2W. So... Since the larger rectangle was 3L and 2W, just to draw it here for them to see, 3L and 2W, we're saying that the length of the larger rectangle would be 3 times 5, which is 15 centimeters, and the width of the large rectangle would be 2 times 5, which is 10 centimeters. That would be your answer. So if a question like this is on your exam, you know how to tackle it now. So, of course, look out for worded simultaneous equations. These usually give the most trouble. But I'm telling you, it's really fun with practice, practice, and practice. So today, that's a full video on simultaneous equation, a full lesson on simultaneous wow. equation. All right? So I hope this video was helpful. All right? Um, just keep on practicing. Keep on practicing. 